Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my name is Mike Searson. I am with Live Your Life Learning. Learning to make your life better. Learn from sales recruiting. I sometimes learn more about the job process by reading about sales and recruiting. I am not a recruiter or human resource person myself. The following are my thoughts as to what I think will improve a job search. Sales Cadence. I've read about a concept called a sales cadence. We can describe a sales cadence as A sales cadence is a sequence of different sales activities and methods whose main idea is to establish a contact with a prospect, engage them, and nurture them into becoming your customer. What's also an indispensable part of any sales cadence is a timeline that is a frequency of these activities. From the Ultimate Cold Email Outlook Playbook by, and let me spell the word, A-U-T-O-K-L-O-S-E, from the website, again let me spell the word, A-U-T-O-K-L-O-S-E dot com, slash books, slash cold, hyphen email, hyphen playbook. As I understand it, a sales cadence is a schedule set along a timeline composed of different ways to contact a prospect. The timeline goes from initial contact to follow up. The goals of the contact is to change a prospect into a paying customer. The major methods of contact are the phone and email. An important concept is the follow up from the initial contact to increase the prospect's odds of becoming a paying customer. Could sale cadence apply to job hunting? Could there be an ideal sales cadence schedule for job hunters? Is there an optimal timeline of activities that a person could do to move a job application to an interview? My thoughts about the timeline for job hunting. Here is my thoughts of odd timeline to move from job applicant to interview, not covering steps after an interview. Get the name for the cover letter. The first two contacts with a potential employer. Skip the step if you already know the name for a cover letter. The first contact with a potential employer. Send an email to human resources or recruiting to find the name for the cover letter. Second contact with a potential employer. After some time, if you do not receive any information, follow up email with a phone call to human resources or recruiting to find the name for a cover letter. You may not be successful in finding a name to a cover letter. Apply for the job position. The third contact with a potential employer. Fill out an application to apply for the job position. At the same time, also send out an email to your potential boss. Follow up with email. The fourth contact with a potential employer. If you hear nothing after some time, follow up with an application with an email. Email your potential boss if known, otherwise someone in human resources or recruiting. Follow up with a phone call your fifth contact with a potential employer. If you hear nothing after some time, follow up with a phone call. Call your potential boss if known, otherwise someone in human resources or recruiting. So these could be five potential contacts you could make with a potential employer to move a job application to an interview. You may be able to use a table to track your progress in the job search. Thoughts of mine on how to improve the job search through follow-up. What are your thoughts? Let me know by writing an email to helpfulfeedback at yahoo.com. The purpose of this content is to provide insight, research, and opinion, not to provide professional, legal, or tax advice. Please see an individual expert for individual guidance. Thanks for listening. Thank you.